For this example, we will be using a model of mounting plate that has already been created. The analysis process includes creating an ambient temperature body load as well as nodal temperatures, analyzing the model with NX NASTRAN's steady state heat transfer solution method, creating a load from the temperatures results as well as defining pin constraints, analyzing the model with NX NASTRAN static solution method and then post processing the stress results using FEMAP's contour capabilities. The model is already meshed with steel plate property with underlying geometry. The model needs to have an ambient temperature set with a body load. Then localized heating in the form of nodal temperature will also be created. First let's create temperature body load. Go to model, load, body. Because no load exists in the model, FEMAP will prompt you to create one. In the new load set dialog box, give the title as thermal. Click OK. In create body loads dialog box, check active box for default temperature field to become available. Enter 70 into default temperature field. Click OK. Let's create the nodal temperature using nodes associativity to the underlying geometric curves. Go to model, load, nodal. In entity selection, enter nodes to select dialog box. Click method button and highlight on curve. Choose the curve that makes up the lower right hand portion of the hole. Click on OK. In create loads on nodes dialog box, highlight temperature from the selection list. Enter 200 in the temperature field and click OK. In entity selection, enter nodes to select dialog box, click method box and highlight on curve. Choose the curve that makes up the upper left hand portion of the hole. Click OK. Enter 250 into the temperature field and then click OK. In the entity selection, enter nodes to select dialog box, click method button and highlight on curve. In entity selection, enter nodes to select on curve dialog box. Choose the 12 curves that make up the outside perimeter of the plate. And click OK. Enter 70 into the temperature field. And click OK. The thermal model is now ready to be analyzed. Let's create an analysis case for steady state heat transfer using FEMAP Analysis Set Manager. Go to Model Analysis. In Analysis Set Manager dialog box, click New button. Select NX NASTRAN from Analysis Program drop down list, then select Steady State Heat Transfer from Analysis Tie Down list. Click OK and now click on Analyze. The analysis is now complete. The steady state heat transfer analysis has created a resultant nodal temperature at each node. The best way to view the temperature distribution along the plate is with a contour plot. Let's view the temperature results in a FEMAP contour plot. Go to view, select, 
Choose Contour Radio button in Contour Style section. Click Deform and Contour Data button. Select Post Processing Data dialog box. Select Case Time from Output Set drop down list. Select Temperature from Contour drop down list located in Output Vector section. Click Contour Options button. In Select Contour Options dialog box, choose Level Colors radio buttons in Contour Fill Mode section. Click OK on all the dialog boxes. We see the contour plot of the temperatures. Now the results of the thermal analysis will be used to thermally load the plate for static analysis which will produce a stress value after the model has been constrained. Let's create the nodal temperature on all nodes. Go to model, load, from output. In select type of load dialog box, choose temperature radio button in the nodal load section. Click on OK. In create loads from output dialog box, select case time from output set drop down list. Select temperature from X vector drop down list and then click OK. Then in the OK to update existing temperature message window, click on Yes button. Let's create pinned nodal constraints. Go to Model, Constraint, Nodal. Because no constraint set exists in the model, Femap will prompt you to create one. In New Constraints Set dialog box, give the title as Pinned. Click on OK. Entity Selection Enter Nodes to Select dialog box. In that, click the Method button and highlight On Curve. Choose the 12 curves that make up the outside perimeter of the plane. Click OK. In the Create Nodal Constraint dialog box, click Pin button and then click on OK. The thermal stress model is now ready to be analyzed. Create an analysis case for static analysis using the FEMAP Analysis Set Manager. Go to Model Analysis. In the Analysis Set Manager dialog box, click New button. Select NAS Plan from the Analysis Program drop down list, then select Static from the Analysis Type drop down list. Click on OK. In Analysis Set Manager dialog box, click, click on Analyze. The analysis is now completed. Let's view the stress results in a FEMAP control plot. Go to view, select. In view select dialog box, choose contour radio button in contour style section. Click deformed and contour data button. In select post processing data dialog box, select two NAS strand case one from output set drop down list. Select Plate top 1 my stress from contour drop down list located in output vector section. Click OK in all the dialog boxes. We now see the contour plot of the stress. This concludes the thermal stress analysis.
Thank you for watching our video. We hope that it was beneficial to you. For any queries or any assistance, please feel free to contact us. Thank you.